what are you, uh, hey, we're here to, I guess, yeah. tell you that cardkingdom.com has everything you need for double masters up for order now. Perfect. Yeah, cardkingdom.com. We've got a limited edition Commander playmat for sale, only available until the end of July. You can get regular Stitch or Gold Foil signatures from the entire Commander Clash crew, and you can pre-order it now over at mtdgoldfishmerch.com. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This week we've got, well, big butts, thick walls. That's what we're all about this week. We're playing cards like Aegis Turtle, Giant Ox, Wall of Runes, things like this. Uh, all of this is going to be combined with cards like, you know, of course, Nick's Lease Ram, which, by the way, I love that card. It's all going to be combined with Assault Formation, High Alert, uh, all, all the Toughness Matters kind of things. And then we've got Towering Defense as a, what we hope to just be a quick way to kill somebody uh, that isn't expecting the, the random pump effect. So very straightforward. Build up a bunch of, like, Toughness on board. Swing for lethal, ideally. This seems pretty good. So we have a one drop, but we have a we have like triple two. It's Gigantha. So let's see what we've got turn one. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and play Spara's Headquarter. With Spara's Headquarter, we're pretty much open to all our colors, so we don't need much more. All right, so there's some shenanigans going on here from the opponent's side of the board, as you can see. Let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna play Weathered Runestone before it gets Thought Seized. I'm pretty sure we're about to get Thought Sneezed. But now they have to at least deal with a Weathered Runestone. Prevents permanence, so that means this includes your cat, so you have to answer this. You don't have it in Mono Black, right? Wait, is there a Mono Black artifact removal? Oh, I'm gonna feel so bad, so silly right now if you've got it. And again, everyone watching on YouTube, if they do have it, report them. They're clearly hacking. There's just... <laughs> don't tell me you've only got sodium. There's no way you're gonna Salt Rage. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So now when we get Thought Seized, who cares? Assuming that we ever get to take our turn. Great. This is great. No, okay, so they'll draw some cards here. Their turn's done. You'll love to see that. As of right now, I've got nothing to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and play uh, some shenanigans. Play a bunch of O4s and <laughs> just... Look at that. Look at that. Nine toughness on board. Zero power. All I could ask for. Oh, they have red in their mana base, so we could be getting Coligans commanded. Actually, that is more probable than you'd believe. No, well, they could just sack and win through pinging us in a thousand times over. I have nothing to do, so I'm just going to keep playing Grappling Sundew. We need to find one of our, like, enchantments here. Either Assault Formation or, yeah, like, like High Alert. We have eight of them. They're somewhere in the deck. I know that. I know we got them somewhere in the deck. On the bright side. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely play high alert. We probably get fatal pushed a non-zero amount of times here. Sure, go for it. We go in for combat. We clock them for nine. Hope that that's good enough for now. Sure, they get rid of one of our things. Whatever, go ahead. We clear the board so there's no shenanigans. Uh, Cat's not the greatest thing to happen to us, but whatever. They're probably going to play that cat, believe it or not. And if I could just get, you know, a land here, that'd be kind of dece. All right, kitty kitty. Kitty's arrived. Another unlucky witness. How unlucky. All right. What is the last card in their hand? Gigantha is clearly a move that they that means they don't have much else. Let's go in. Here's five. And I'm going to go ahead and play the ox here. Let's see what they, they have at that. Okay, I'm going to play ox. So we've got the Ox. We're ready to, like, swing next turn. We'll have Umazawa to get through. That's 11. These are these are just pretty much Tarmogoyfs, left and right. Look at us go. We're just playing a bunch of Tarmogoyfs. How cool is that? Well, that's unlucky. Good news, they don't get to hit us with that. Cool. Take one. I mean, we knew they had some amount of claim the Firstborn, so we had to get it out there at some point. Unfortunately, we've been kind of stuck on this three mana business, so that's been a little problematic. All right, well, we're just going to start swinging in. Even if it's fatal push, who cares? All right, they're down to 12. I really do need to make sure I get, like, another land here. I, I've been making one drop a turn when I could be making two. This would be so much harder for them to deal with. Do they have more nonsense that they can bring back? I guess I can't call anything nonsense. I'm playing a wall deck, but... That was a good swat on one kitty cat. Yeah, we block. 
Get rid of the kitty? That's fine. They can they can sack Blood Tithe Harvester. We have a follow-up copy. We just cleared their board, so I like that. Again, you got it. I guess I'm going to play Wall of... Let's do all of this. I just need a land here. Come on. Give me a land. They're in the deck. I know they're in the deck. Mayhem Devil. That's a little concerning. Sure. Here's the hoping. We have been stuck on three lands for so long. It's been so problematic. So let me see. They pay one. They can ping. Like, they could sack both food and... Oh, oh, that's that's really good. That's a great way to go about it, actually. I mean, on the brighter side, they still have to block. So I'm hoping they don't have removal, but I'm sure they, they have at least drawn a fatal push or a claim the firstborn here. Yeah, it looks like they have at least one of those. Sure. Yep, there it goes. Any minute now, my deck will give me that fourth land when it's t a turn too late. But what are you going to do? All right, so we're going to play Nyx Fleece Ram. Looks like they have a lot of removal here, though. They must have something. I get a land, we start having an indestructible Sundew. Assuming that they don't wipe our board right now. We would have won a long time ago had we just hit a fourth land, by the way. They've recognized the threat. It's the Sundew. Yep, so they have to probably sack this. If they sack the Gigantha, then they... Okay, good enough. We do not have a single form. We don't have a way to make our, our, our thick booties aggressive. Like, we got big butts, but it's fine, right? We just set up a defense early anyways. We'll be fine. Oh, look, the magical three lands. Let's hope we uh, actually draw a fourth land sometime soon. All right, so we got the Nyx Fleece Ram. What are we up against? Oh, no. Are they a Phoenix deck? Please don't be a Phoenix deck. Please don't be a Phoenix deck. Why do I think it's a Phoenix deck? It has to be a Phoenix deck, right? There's just no way it isn't. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and play Nyx Fleece Ram and start gaining the life now. Plus, we're in 05, so it's kind of hard for them to deal, I, I guess, five damage without burning a few spells on it. So for right now, we are just jamming. We're just jamming. What is going on? Okay, blue. Oh, we're about to get comboed. Oh, the best part about this, though, is if they... Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's Agent... Oh, God. It is a Phoenix deck. All right. Not great. I'll be honest with you. Not great. Oh! <gasps> I believe uh, that is cash money. Please don't counter this. You don't have a spell pierce, do you? You're the worst if you have a spell pierce. Spell pierce if you agree you're the worst. <laughs> spell pierce if you agree you're the worst. You don't have it. It's just like a bad burn spell. Opponent, why are you going to build so much tension? What is going on? <laughs> okay, cool. So let's get in for five. Oh, yo, we got the thickums. All right, we're going in. We're swinging in thick. We're going to play our little turtle friend. Oh my god, one man of 5 5. This value is absurd. We did it. We'll never lose again. They would have to burn a lot of spells, which I guess is easy for them and what they want to do, anyways. Oh, right, they have lightning axe. No, wait, what? Why my turtle? That was. Wait, hold on. They blew the turtle up? Not the thing that gains me a life? I mean, I'll, I'll take that. Well, lightning axe. How many more of those could they possibly have, right? Sure. Get yourself a nice little bird. Great. I love it. Let's go. Um, We have double blue, double white. So I guess this doesn't really matter. Uh, I guess we go in for five. We have them dead next turn without our tower defense. Of course, if we have a tower defense, that'd be great. So they will die if they don't leave back blockers. But actually, no, they can't block anyway. So they have to kill me this turn, which is doable. Uh, well, is it doable? Let me see here. They'd have to like, if let's assuming they got all three of their phoenixes into the yard right now. Their other ones. That's only 12 damage. So they have to deal an additional seven because Nyx Fleece Ram popping off over here. Cards cracked. I used to play this in standard to, to take a dump on red decks. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Now, it's not hard for them to just kill Tetsuko. Tetsuko is only a 1-3, so very easy to remove. But if I untap, they will lose. Unless they have a counter spell or a hard removal spell, like bounce effect or something like that. Punnett's tanking. Either they're tanking or they're salting, one or the other. All right, they're they're tanking. They're tanking. They have the the whatever promise spell. So lightning axe again. Sure. Can't even lightning axe this giant ox though. Is it even worth playing? I have to be getting trolled, right? 
They're okay with me keeping Tetsuko? That's weird. Oh. Well, I mean, still, that doesn't matter. Okay. I don't think they, they know what Tetsuko does. <laughs> we have no white mana, but I believe. Because we do have Tetsuko, we have Grappling Sundew, so we still have plays to make. Obviously, I would rather get the Nyx Fleece out early as possible. So we need to find the White Source and then also find uh, a High Alert or the two mana enchantment. We have enough green sources to like turn off Defender on a major on like some of the things. Oh, that's not good for us. Speaker of the Heavens, you got it. Let's just keep the green mana up because again, that, that is important. So we can block the Speaker of Heavens early. We have the Grappling Sundew for Reach, but we'll see how long that matters because after a certain point, they gain so much life that we can't do anything. All right, so we pass. We really do need to find something now. Yeah, that's about as bad as it could get. Sure. Pass, I guess. So they have Coco. We have nothing to do. Again. Um, I guess we just keep setting up an Alpha Strike for as long as we can. Here comes Coco. They, they're going to probably gain too much life for us to like get a W here. Yeah, that's too much. That's GG's, right? Because that's like 8 life. And then plus the... Uh, yeah, okay. GG's. Good game. This has been the opposite of our other games, or the other game where we didn't have any of our enablers and we just had a bunch of walls, but now we have the, like, things to, like, attack with and be aggressive with. All right. Is it Esper Cheese Fang? Is it Esper? Yeah, it's Esper Cheese Fang. Nice. I'm going to play around, a, like, a, a Jwari Disruption or something like that. Oh, it's... The Thought Thief. Okay, so it's rogues. That's much worse. Because they're going to have interaction for sure. That's two cards in the yard. Bouncing that back to my hand. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter because I'm just going to lose whatever's on top, so I may as well move it to the bottom. Sure, they're going to eat my land. That's good. I hope they don't draw one. Oh, they did. Unfortunate. Oh, I have to play a real game with them. Oh, I wanted that mana. I can't do anything until I set up a big enough board to just, like, swing. And I'm not going to just play high alert because every time I do, they're just going to bounce it, right? They have probably a silly amount of, like, brazen borrowers. It's cool. I didn't want that mana anyways. They've milled a lot of green sources so far, I think, right? They've milled, like, three. Yeah. Ooh, a Kaido? Okay, now I can probably resolve something. Unless they play another... Oh, definitely gonna resolve something now. Whatever. Game's trolling. That's fine, so they're down to 11. So now the, the ball's in their court, right? They, they've gotta... I mean, they're gonna probably mill something good eventually here. I just need a green mana. Like, that's it. So they definitely now have counter magic and removal. Don't have a way to deal with high alert, please. Like hit my walls, that's fine, but like don't kill the high alert, leave that. All right, cool. Dude, come on game, please. I guess we pass. All these rogues, sure. There goes more of my mana. They have... Ah, oh my god. Every land I need is in the yard. All right, so we're down to seven. We die next turn. We, we go for it now. Simple as that. We go for lethal if we can. They definitely have another form of removal here. It's probably like Vanishing Verse or maybe like a Fatal Push, but I've got to force it. Okay, you got it. Can I draw, for the life of me, a green source? Green source can still help me win if they don't kill my, my wall of runes. Well, never mind. GG's. All they have to do is just get rid of my tower defense. That's the only thing that kills them, at least. Yep. Mm, 
GG's. Yeah, we, we, we don't have anything we can do here. Sure, Fatal Push, that's good enough. Good game. I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually just play Deserted Beach first. Because I, I, I do want to dig for an enabler, but the sooner I can get the Ox and, and Nixley's Rams out, the better. Yup. Okay, so that is probably... What is this? Angels? If it's green and white, it's gotta be Angels, right? Yeah, okay. It is. Yup. So next turn, I'm gonna have to go ahead and play Giant Ox plus Wall of Runes and hope that I can dig to find something to do. Sure, Valkyrie. That's disgusting. You got it. Let's go digging. Sure, that seems good. Let's play the Ox. Now we pass. We're hoping... So if they swing out, it's not the end of the world, right? They they get... It's if they play Resplendent Angel. Resplendent really gets them far ahead here. Or like a Coco. Rule of thumb is they always have it with Coco. So well, we're going to find out. I hope they don't, but you never know. Okay. All right. That's enough. That gets everybody through. That's so rough. I am just going to attack with all of these. The clerics are online. I just don't know how I'm supposed to beat that. Also, why would they not block with bishop here? I guess they really value that bishop, so there's no chance of, like, shenanigans happening. Um, sure. So we have another ox. Those come back. They make an angel that's plus four. Yeah, I, th I think this is game over. It, it, they're they're too far ahead. I'm gonna run it. We actually have the high alert. Hopefully, we don't get it thought seized. But all right, so we have another tower defense. Okay, now we need the walls. The walls actually need to start happening now. Ledger shredder. Okay, cool. Go ahead and play grippling or grappling sundew. I mean, do we just play... Yeah, let's just play another Grippling Sundew. Okay, cool. No, not Cycle. Let's not do that. Let's play the Tap Land. Cool. Our mana's all here. Cool, they tapped out. This is perfect. Um, Let's not get into attacking just yet. Cool. So this is plus 10, right? Plus 10, that's 18. No blocks, that's fine. I need to make sure I leave up the mana to completely uh, shut down the chance of them removing any of them, because th it'll be indestructible. We have double tower defense here, and I can also pay four to unblock or untap, but I'm just going to block with one. And again, we get to just give it indestructible if need be, and they can't just shock. We go for a uh, tower defense. That's 9, that's plus 9, that's 18. Wait, did I have more than I thought I did? I think I did, actually. Oops. Alright, this is good. This is good. I do like the uh, ability to scry twice here, so let's try for that first. Uh, oh, okay. Is that, a, is that a red ley line? So when we target them... Sounds terrifying. You got it. Probably might need that. It seems like an 06 might be ve uh, very valuable in this matchup where I think... Yep, okay, cool. It's as I thought. Don't need another land. I need high alert, anything like that, please, and thank you. Soulscar Mage is like the best thing they could have had against us. Oh, that is a very good magic card against us. Robber of the Rich. Let's go. Um... So if I find a high alert, we're okay. Like high alert, please, or... or Maybe the green one won't help as much, but it's still something. Okay, pass. We just hang out now. Wait a little bit until I eventually draw one of my enablers. I'm hell bent. All right, get it. Double ley line. I like it. I think I'm gonna keep the Spara's headquarter as a cycler. Sure. 
Okay, that's fine. Block, 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 block. There we go. <laughs> the deck performed randomly. Uh, we got a non-zero amount of wins. It is very linear and it also doesn't have interaction. So we just kind of hope we can get there on the back of that. But there are just matchups that are unwinnable. Like I think Angels is just too good. It's too good against us. Every creature deck I play just loses to Angels. So we're just going to assume we can't beat Angels. Uh, and, and I'm not trying to. So uh, this is really a meme gimmicky deck. But it is fun when you get to pull it off. So as you saw there, that last match. So thanks for watching another episode of Single Scoop. As always, I appreciate y'all supporting the content here on, on Goldfish. As always, feel free to leave a like, sub, hit the bell icon, you know, do the thingy. And then, of course, you can also find me on social media at The Asian Avenger. That's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. And then also, you can find my personal channel at Krim Nguyen on YouTube. C-R-I-M-N-G-U-Y-E-N. Other than that, keep supporting all the content we got here. And thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.